Hello everyone and welcome back to Crypto Live League. I'm Ken and today we're going to discuss Dragon Chain. This was one of our top 5 picks for 2018, but so far this year they've had a rough start. From their all time high of over $5, the coin now sits around $1 per dragon. Now the price isn't necessarily concerning since we've had a crash in the altcoins recently. However, it's the news events regarding Dragon Chain that does concern me. So. Dragon Chain was supposed to be an incubator platform mixed with a commercial marketplace based on Amazon Workstation. And the company itself also uh, promoted interoperability between the NEO, Ethereum, and Bitcoin blockchains. Some of the recent news have been regarding those ICOs or pre-ICO sales from the incubator platform. Those being Look Lateral, Life ID, and Iagon. Now, recently Iagon had a stop in the middle of its pre-ICO sale and Dragon Chain announced that they'd be refunding all the Ethereum that was given to that ICO, or that pre-ICO. And so far from the comments I'm reading online, the Ethereum is being given back to the users. But this raises many red flags. The core premise or the core attraction that I thought this model was going to present would be the incubator platform for all of the ICOs, which seemed to be the hotbed that grew Ethereum this past year. Now, Dragon Chain is a US based company, and the US is increasingly raising the bar on regulations for ICOs. In fact, they say, uh, from the SEC, they say all ICOs should be registered as securities. That's how they view them at this point. Now, of course, there are ICOs happening all the time, every day, currently, but those are not really based in the US. So, this seems like there's a core conflict within the inc incubator platform that Dragon Chain's offering, and it seems like they are stepping back on what they've planned to offer in terms of the incubator. They even released a Medium post recently after they announced the Iagon presale was going to be closed. And that post really uh, didn't provide much clarity except provide technical details on exactly what Dragon was trying to do, Dragon Chain was trying to do uh, in regards to their own platform and not really about why the presale stopped. And at the end of the post they gave a lot of contacts for SEC and then local uh, government official contacts and they uh, prompted the users in the community to reach out to their contacts and let them know that uh, we wanted to participate as U.S. investors into ICOs and to change and update their regulations and policy regarding cryptocurrencies. So it seems to me that uh, when they start these pre-ICO sales, there could be a possibility the SEC is reaching out to these companies or Dragon Chain themselves and basically forcing them to stop because they could not be compliant. Well, what is compliant? It doesn't seem like there's much clarity in the market right now. So to me, in the short term, this means that Dragon Chain has lost some of its appeal. If they can't run successful ICOs on its platform, uh, you know, what's the big draw? Well, they say they have an Amazon Workstation platform. Well, I haven't heard much news about that. It was supposedly launched last month, uh, but I really haven't seen anything except a small video they posted that we'll go over later in this video. And then they also, uh, after the Iagon news, they also released an updated roadmap, which we'll go over as well. And it's more focused on their technical aspects, not so much... Uh, you know, the incubator platform or the news that we as investors, you know, probably wanted to hear more about. However, I do think uh, Dragon Chain still remains a good long term play. Once the US cleans up its regulations regarding ICOs, Dragon could be, you know, a, a big company that hosts a lot of ICOs, especially US based, since they seem to be on the forefront of dealing with the SEC and CFTC. However, until that happens, you know, for me, uh, I think the money invested is better served elsewhere. But again, I'm not a financial advisor, just my honest opinion. So let's take a little dive into that updated roadmap and some of those articles that we discussed. All right, guys, and starting out by looking at the graph here on coinmarketcap.com, we can see that Dragon Chain is currently trading right around $1 per dragon. Now, we had the all-time high back in January when all the alt altcoins peaked around $5.20. Now, I also want you to note that the market cap of this coin is over a quarter a billion US dollars so pretty big coin sitting at a top 75 it looks like 79 uh, position rank here on coin market cap top 100 so this is a very large market cap for a coin uh, so I would expect a coin of this market cap to have substantial platform development at this point um, so when they canceled the Iagon pre ICO sale they did release a medium article uh, and this is the article here and it didn't really address why the presale was canceled on Iagon, 
or why the pre-sale was canceled and refunded for their other pre-ICOs, the other three that, uh, the other two that they tried running earlier. So let's just dig into this and see if we can assume or try to depict why exactly they had to cancel uh, the ICO. So they start by talking about the vision of Dragon Chain. Uh, they quote their slogans here, all humans are welcome, business blockchain magic. Uh, the all humans are welcome, I want you to remember that because later here we'll show you why I don't think they want all humans welcome to their platform. Uh, so I'm starting to actually turn a little negative on Dragon Chain. You'll hear that in my voice as we go throughout here. Um, so they explain that you know it's a platform uh, used with existing uh, programming languages, so it's easy to adopt for businesses looking to uh, use a more hybrid blockchain model uh, to protect their data, keep it more private, uh, where they wouldn't want it to be on a public network such as Bitcoin or Ethereum. It goes into the ecosystem here, their marketplace, where they have a vision to provide a place for certified developers, marketing, other business vendors to offer services that can be purchased on their marketplace. And then it talks about their community. Um, basically, if you hold the, the Dragon Coin, you'll be able to accumulate a Dragon Days of Slumber score, which can be used in different variety of ways, uh, none of which I've seen. Uh, come in useful yet since you're not able to participate in these pre ICOs since they keep shutting them down and you're really not able to access their platform um, unless you have an extremely high slumber score and then they go into their future uh, interchain capabilities that's big right now that's almost like a it's like a hot word in the cryptocurrency space if you look at ontology that uh, coin has absolutely exploded and it's big hot word is interchain capabilities where it's uh, you know interacting with the neo blockchain as well with other blockchains so that's what they uh, go over here. They talk about the capabilities of your slumber score, integration into other products, sharing, subholding, and recovery. Um, and then they go into support. And then here's uh, what I found odd here. They listed a lot of House Financial Service Committee members, and they give their their uh, contact information and phone numbers here. And they're basically asking us as community members to go and reach out to these folks and basically say uh, you know we're interested in investing in ICOs we think they should be regulated and you know please act quickly to regulate these so we don't miss out um, so you know I'm going to assume that these pre ICOs were um, shut down because of regulations in the US Dragon Chain being based in the US and trying to host this incubator platform you know at this current time it's just not gonna work out the the SEC and the CFTC are just not comfortable with letting ICOs occur within the US at this point so that's possibly why they listed all these contact names here um, and, and are directing the community to reach out so they did release a eApp demo um, for dragons spinning up a dragon chain and I just want you to watch this it seems so simple it doesn't seem like there's much complexity to it whatsoever uh, so let's take a look guys so there's not much volume here I'll just try to go over this here so the commercial platform is for IT teams to rapidly secure and deploy blockchain applications in this demo video series they'll dive into the platform and give you a look into the commercial platform and allows users to create their own chains let's begin so you'll see here it doesn't look complex whatsoever you'll see a list of chains that have been created here in the list of chains and if you wanted to create a chain you just click the other button up there and you just type in the name of what chain you want to create so they're doing just demo chain and then they go ahead and create that chain so you know this is not that impressive to me uh, I could compare this to creating a token on ethereum's network um, you know it just seems like it's more simplified here just pressing buttons maybe there's smart contracts working in the background to actually uh, do just that create these ERC 20 tokens but I'm not quite sure it's not clear to me it's not clear to me what's going on here very little explanation on the subtitles as well all right so you can call your chain up by selecting from the drop down once you've created it okay and that's it that's that's it so that's all they're showing us at this point so do they even have a product it's very very vague to me okay and just going through their roadmap here we see in May 
uh, infrastructure refactor, dragon factor, identity framework, uh, reference proof of work implementation. So these are just, you know, headers. They don't really give detail into what exactly is going on here. Standardized currency library smart contract. In August, they plan for Neo interchain library smart contract. Uh, level three nodes, community provisions. You know, it would be great if they gave, you know, more detailed explanation about what's going on here. Um, you know, Ethereum interchain smart contracts. So it looks like this is where they're claiming their interchain uh, capabilities will come in. September commercialized dashboard dashboard for marketplace. Um, is this going to be restricted for someone with you know 500 million dragon score and, and not the average investor won't be able to see? So future goals. This is where the incubator now goes. So you know, are they giving up on the incubator at this point? That would you know really affect a lot of investment decisions if someone was getting in based on uh, you know they they at one point advertised that they had over a hundred companies lined up in their incubator program now we see that listed as future goals so is it the sec that made them put this on the back burner because they themselves can't figure out how to regulate icos that would severely affect the value of dragon chain to me as an investor so just just not very clear here um you know with their updated roadmap what's going on they do you know dragon score recovery so this if you lose your dragons are you able to get them back based on uh your dragon score and dragon score leaderboard is this going to be you know public names or is this going to be wall addresses that show the highest dragon score i don't know it's just it's just really too vague for me and it really leads me uh to believe that dragon chain could just be all smoke and mirrors with you know a good corporate team as the face so to me i've become extremely bearish on dragon chain i i no longer want to be an investor in this platform and I've just really gone sour since they got rid of their incubator platform and really stopped uh, pursuing the ICOs from that incubator platform. But I would like to know what you guys, the community, uh, thinks about where Dragon Chain is currently and where Dragon Chain is headed. So feel free to leave your comments here and start a discussion really on what the current status of Dragon Chain is, if you're still going to be holding, if you are still a in for the long run, long run, long term investor here, or if you've moved on to another project. You know, as one of our first videos on Crypto Live Leak YouTube channel was about Dragon Chain, we had over 5,000 views. So uh, there should be a lot of you guys that watch our channel that are invested or interested at least in Dragon Chain. So I'd love to hear from you guys. All right, guys, in the last web page I wanted to show you, this is off the Dragon Chain website, console.dragonchain.com. And this is the beta early access program where you could view their product. Um, this is the part of the video that we saw earlier and it looks like it's restricted for users with a dragon slumber score of over 500 million so that is an extremely high and unattainable number for the average investor just to let you know the way they calculate dragon slumber score is based on your number of tokens that you hold times the number of days since the last outward transaction from that wallet of dragon so let's say you held 1 million dragon you would have to hold that for 500 days before you amassed a cumulative dragon score of 500 million without transferring any of those dragon out of the wallet uh, for that entire time. So are all humans welcome? Seems not. Maybe they should revise their slogan. <laughs> all right, guys, I hope I was able to provide more information to you about the current status of Dragon Chain Project. And although it wasn't all positive news, it did provide some interesting perspective. So for all you dragon holders out there, uh, your, your slumber scores are still going up, but you know, possibly you might want to look into investment into a different coin at this time. Again, we're not financial advisors, but it's just something to consider given all the scrutiny over the ICO regulation in the US at this time. Anyways, thank you for watching. As always, take care until next time, guys.